Welcome to our God's Word for Today devotional this morning. Good morning and how are you today? Let us trust that the Lord will give us principles to learn today through His Word. And let me read to us our text in Romans chapter 14, verses 13 to 19. Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. I know and I'm persuaded in the Lord Jesus, that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. For if your brother is grieved by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. By what you eat, do not destroy the one for whom Christ died. So do not let what you regard as good be spoken as evil. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Whoever thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. So then let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Once again, we are reminded by Paul here as his children, not only to the Christians at Rome, that we are going to pursue peace and for the upbuilding of the body of Christ, of the family. In as much as possible, we are going to live peaceably with all men, and especially within the family. We are going to pursue peace and for mutual upbuilding or for edification. So again, Paul said here that those who are stronger in faith, particularly those who are exercising their freedom in Christ to eat meat and not observe special days, means that they are not guilty or they believe that they can eat any food and they don't need to practice a special day because everything is given by God and we can believe that whatever is is received with thanksgiving as first Timothy chapter four verse four says, we can enjoy it. But there are people who don't believe what we believe. So these strong people or these strong believers in the church must also be deep in their love and understanding towards those people who are weak in the faith. They should be willing to abstain, if need be, for the sake of these brethren who are weak in faith. Therefore, it does not mean that they ought to consider the weakness of others when deciding when when and if to partake food or not observe special days or they must be very careful that they are going to consider how this weak brethren will look or would perceive our actions or the decisions of these strong brethren in eating this food that did they, they think and they believe that it's unclean. Paul affirms that Nothing is unclean. So that we can eat whatever we want, according to verse, verse 14. For I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is in, unclean in itself. With respect to the law of Moses, the ceremonial law, we are not bound to it. We are not clean or unclean by eating or not eating it because we are not bound to it anymore. So, Paul affirms that nothing is unclean by itself. So, they can eat whatever they want, whatever they think is best for them, and they are free to do that. But, they must consider that something could be unclean if a brethren will think it as unclean. And if the weak brothers see us or see the stronger Christian eating an unclean food, what will happen is that they will be grieved and they will stumble. So the issue here is there is a problem of the stronger Christian now that he is not sensitive. He is not walking in love anymore. Let us not allow a simple meal to destroy a brother, according to Paul. And Remember that this brother who is weak in faith, Christ died for them. This is an emphasis of Paul to remind us of how precious are these brothers to Christ. 
we are not going to put ourselves above than above than these brothers because we are the same. So the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Paul had emphasized this. What does this mean? It means that when Christ is our Lord and King, we will pursue the things that promote righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. In other words, we are going to focus on what builds up the body of Christ because peace and joy in the Holy Spirit and righteousness must be more, more important and more in priority than anything else like food and the observance of days. So we should promote that which is for the righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And it should be more than enjoyment of eating and drinking. In other words, we are free to eat and drink anything, but on the condition, as long as it won't affect our righteousness, peace and joy in the Spirit, as long as you are not bothered, as long as you have the joy and peace in your conscience. So we could not afford to enjoy on something which other brothers are grieving upon, could we? So we must be very sensitive here. This sensitivity is a true mark of a true servant of Christ. Because according to verse 18, whoever that serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. So you are serving Christ. You want to serve the brethren means that you are going to do something that will build him up. He is willing to sacrifice for others. Hence, in God's family of diverse opinions, let us pursue that thing that makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. So, our takeaway this morning is, let us be sensitive. Let us be deep in our commitment to love others. Let's not allow a simple meal or a simple thing that our brothers who are weak in faith will stumble because we are not living for ourselves. We are servants. When we are servants of Christ and we are servants in the body of Christ, we are thinking about ourselves first and foremost. We are thinking about how to serve others, how to bless and how to help others, how to edify them, how to build them up. That's the true focus and orientation of a servant of God. So let's allow that the Holy Spirit will teach us how to be magnanimous, that we will be more loving and compassionate, especially for those people who are very uh, weak in their faith in certain areas in the Christian life. How I wish that we will be at uh, People will be serving by focusing and emphasizing about how to build up others, not to insist on what we believe is right. As somebody says, it, it does matter whether your goal is to be right or to be happy. You see, there are people, regardless of the emotions and the feelings of others, they want to insist on what is right. But sometimes in matters like gray matters or not so certain matters, we must be very tolerant. We don't want our emotions or any emotions to overrule and cause dissensions in the body of Christ. We can esteem others better than ourselves. We can Look at them, that they are more important than us. So we can adjust ourselves and understand them that we can let go and sacrifice. We, we, we will insist on our own what we want to do because we are sensitive to accommodate those who are weaker in faith. May God help us. Let us pray. Father, thank you so much that this morning, again, we are 
reminded by this truth, Lord, that we must be sensitive to others, especially to those who are weak in the faith. And Lord, you desire that there will be unity in the body of Christ. Unity not because we think different, the same, we think alike, but even then we have one goal that is to please the Lord Jesus Christ. We might be doing diverse and unique things in the body of Christ, but we can be united because we have this one goal, and that is to please the Lord Jesus Christ. So bless us our hearts, Lord, today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.